Life as we know it and the freedoms we took for granted are fast becoming a memory. Tonight, more extraordinary measures come into force to try to stop the coronavirus pandemic in its tracks. From midnight, new restrictions begin. The Prime Minister wants people to stay inside and work from home if possible and cancel large barbecues, birthday celebrations and dinner parties. Weddings will be limited to five people, funerals to ten. Beauty and massage parlours will be closed and haircuts limited to 30 minutes. Real estate auctions and open house inspections will no longer happen and other venues will also shut their doors. Australians will also be banned from travelling overseas. That's one step up from simply being advised not to. This is all hitting the economy hard and we're seeing more huge job losses. Virgin Australia will stand down 8,000 of its 10,000 workers and suspend 90% of its domestic flights. One consolation is that supermarkets and chemists in New South Wales are now allowed to trade 24 hours a day to meet the demand. But for so many other businesses, it's been a traumatic day. A work in progress with no clear direction. Government efforts to contain coronavirus is killing small business and this salon is struggling. Both me and my colleague, we just felt about 50% cuts in the revenue since about a week and a half ago. Come the morning, all hair appointments will be chopped down to half an hour. It's really hard to cut hair in 30 minutes, so we might have to temporarily close until we figure out what to do. This new mother has had her mind made up for her. Johan, I am just calling you about the closure of, uh, of beauty salons. The new restrictions are forcing her business of 16 years to close indefinitely. To be honest, I think probably everyone should go into lockdown. I find it really strange that we're shut down, but you can go down the road to buy a shirt. Despite being able to trade until midnight tonight, this nail salon was forced to close early because of a drop in customers. It was among thousands forced to close right across the state today. Just if or when any of them will reopen is anyone's guess. It's me and I have no job to do. Gone are the days of bidding it out in person at auctions. Real estate agents are scrambling to move online, but fear property prices will suffer. Because buyers like to physically see and walk through property, it will certainly have some kind of slowdown effect before everyone gets used to it. The axe has also fallen on the adult industry. Within hours, hundreds of sex workers like Lacey will be out of a job. It's a huge shock um, for it to be taken that quickly, you know, and I guess I'm concerned that I'll have to escort privately and that I won't have, you know, the protection of a brothel and my safety could be jeopardised. On the same day businesses are forced to close, the announcement of penalties for those who don't self-isolate. If you're flying back in to New South Wales, and you don't isolate for 14 days and we find you outside of the house, you'll get a $1,000 on the spot fine. And $5,000 for businesses who fail to comply. Mark Reddy, ABC News, Sydney.